Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 1986's Generation 1. Rodimus Prime. Now, Rodimus hit the toy shelves in 1986 to coincide with his appearance in The Transformers, The Movie, where it's shown that Rodimus is the upgraded and enhanced version of Hot Rod, thanks to the Autobot Matrix of Leadership, and now the new leader of the Autobots for Season 3. Now, Rodimus was kind of met with lukewarm reception from the fans, but actually proved to be a fairly decent leader throughout Season 3. A lot of people complained that he was always self-doubting himself, and, you know, he's always thinking he's not worthy to be the leader of the Autobots, and my good buddy Rodimus Primal pointed it out that Rodimus here was Hot Rod. I mean, Hot Rod was just this lowly soldier that, boom, all, all of a sudden is leader of the Autobots. So, yeah. I would have some self-doubts, too, if that happened to me. So thinking of it in that way kind of makes sense. Now, Rodimus went on to lead the Autobots throughout all of Season 3 up until the final episodes where he passed the Matrix back to Optimus Prime during the hate plague, the return of, the, return of Optimus Prime. And it was funny, with Rodimus, as soon as he took the Matrix out, he immediately reverted back to Hot Rod. You'll realize you're every bit as good as Optimus Prime ever was. Optimus Prime. Who could live up to him? Rodimus Prime didn't appear that many times in Marvel Comics. He appeared in issue number three of the movie adaptation and appeared in issue number 43, which was an adaptation of a season three television show. He then appeared in issue number 67, where in an alternate timeline... He was a corpse hanging between the Twin Towers that Galvatron would talk to and beat up on. And that was pretty much it for Rodimus Prime in the U.S. Marvel series. In the U.K., it was a different story. There was a lot of Rodimus Prime. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at this very controversial leader of the Autobots. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In vehicle mode, Rodimus Prime is some sort of Cybertronian RV, or as the fandom has come to call him, the Space Winnebago. And though this is a pretty weird looking vehicle, it still looks pretty cool. I love the flame decals. There are great stickers on this figure. You've got the flame decal here on the front with the Autobot logo. Of course, there's the famous rub symbol that I am not sure even works anymore. Let's see. Yep, there we go. You can see you can see a little Autobot symbol right there. Fantastic chrome along the sides. I love vintage G1 chrome. Big sticker here on the side, sticker here on top with another Autobot logo. And that's pretty much it. Now, there are a couple different versions of Rodimus Prime. One with rubber wheels and one with plastic wheels. Mine has the rubber wheels, or rubber tires rather and he rolls really, really good. And that's really 
The only thing that this vehicle mode can do, it rolls. That's it. Now, as you can see, Rodimus Prime is just a beefed up version of Hot Rod. It's like Rodimus couldn't say no to those Energon cheeseburgers in vehicle mode. Now, get Hot Rod out of the way, let's go ahead and get Rodimus Prime transformed into robot mode. And just like Optimus Prime, you grab the trailer, you grab the front, and just separate the two. We'll put the trailer to the side for now. And there you have Rodimus Prime's cab. Now, unlike Optimus Prime, you really can't utilize Rodimus Prime, the cab section here, without the trailer. This just... It's a robot lying down. He does have little wheels right there on the shins that kind of help stabilize him, but that, that doesn't work. So moving on along transformation here, you got these toes. You're going to flip these out. Go ahead and remove the spoiler that just pegs in right there. Pull these sections out that are the arms. Let me move the camera up. Now you're going to grab the front of the vehicle and just pull out like so and rotate this section around. Let's see, make sure the arms are good out of the way. Get that rotated around. Mine is really tight. Once that's rotated around, you're gonna push it back in place, flip the head out, then you're gonna take the spoiler section here that was attached to that peg, but now we're going to move it up and attach it here. Just a little bit of parts forming for Rodimus, and there we have Rodimus Prime in robot mode. In robot mode, Rodimus here looks like a taller, slender version of Hot Rod. I guess the more mature version, taking a closer look at the figure. I love the face sculpt. It looks really good, except for the eyes. I don't understand why they gave him these squinty eyes. It looks like he's forgot his glasses. He looks like Mr. Magoo, showing my age there. He's like, Galvatron, is that you? I just, I don't like the eyes. He does have nice sticker decals there on the shoulders. Big sticker right here that carries over from vehicle mode, the flame with the Autobot logo. Sticker decal here on the waist. Sticker decals here on the legs and down here on the shins. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there were two Rodimus Primes, one with plastic wheels, one with rubber. And the difference between those two also were the feet. You had metal feet like mine here, or plastic feet. I happen to have a plastic version of Rodimus Prime. This one was in a lot of bots that I got last year, and I just decided to keep him. He's got no extra accessories whatsoever, but perfect for this video so I can show off the plastic feet compared to the metal feet and also the plastic wheels. As you can see, the tire on this one is plastic, where mine is rubber. So right there, there's your two different versions of Rodimus Prime. Now, quick look at the articulation, and there goes the other Rodimus Prime off the shelf. So, quick look at, <laughs> ah, got sad. I love it when those things happen. We're not going to stop. We're not going to edit it out. Now, articulation for Rodimus Prime is pathetic. His arms can do a complete 360 if you move the spoiler out of the way. And that's it. There's no other articulation for this figure. I guess for transformation, he could move his head up and down and he can wiggle his toes. But Rodimus Prime here, the leader of the Autobots, has the same amount of articulation as a pretender shell. Now, Rodimus also comes with this large rifle that we can put in either hand. And now we have Rodimus Prime all armed and ready for battle. So that looks pretty cool. Now let's bring in his trailer. Rodimus Prime's trailer here can transform into a battle platform just like Optimus Prime's. And all you have to do is split the top apart like so, revealing this giant cannon that you're gonna bring forward and extend up. You also have these two blast shields that on one side has X's, the other side has diagonal lines. You take these blast shields and just peg those in right there on either side of the double barrel cannon. And there is Rodimus's battle platform. And this is actually pretty cool. The double barrel cannon 
can rotate around. It can go down like so. It can lean forward like this, kind of. You can make him look like a scorpion. Actually, it does look like a scorpion. It's got the little points right there. Hell, I've never noticed that before. Okay, that's pretty cool. And of course, you can take Rodimus himself, put him on the back of the cannon, and he is manning his battle platform. So you've got that going on. So a pretty cool little feature that adds some a little bit more playability to this figure. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 1986's Generation 1 Rodimus Prime with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Hot Rod, and Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. 1986's Generation 1 Rodimus Prime is an okay Transformer. I mean, he looks good. The vehicle mode, it's unique. The robot mode, man, needs some articulation. The only redeeming quality of this figure is the battle platform. I do like the playability of having that mobile battle platform, but other than that, there's really not much to write home about this figure other than the fact he was the Season 3 leader of the Autobots. So there you go, guys. Transformers 1986 Generation 1 Rodimus Prime. So, does a 1986 Generation 1 Rodimus Prime belong in your collection? Well, if you're a G1 collector, absolutely. This is an iconic character and a must-have in any G1 collection. For you regular Transformer fans, this guy's an easy skip. I mean, there's just not much to him. The figure looks good, but he can't really do anything. He's a brick with arms. The only redeeming factor with this toy is the mobile battle platform. That's pretty cool. And his vehicle mode's pretty cool as well. If you want a version of this character that's awesome, you get Hot Rod. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And I'm still trying my damnedest to reach 10,000 subscribers by TFCon. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!